and Mount Ember. Hey, that's, that's what's behind me. In Mount Ember, there are two new Pokemon that we can find as well, so let's take a look at them. The next Pokemon that we're going to look at is Graveler. Graveler can't really be found on the roots as much as he can be found in the rocks that you can use Rock Smash on. He is a 5% encounter rate, with Geodude being a 95% encounter rate, and we've seen Geodude before. Honestly, if you wanted one of these on your team, you would have had one by now. Uh, those abilities, Rockhead and Sturdy, are okay. Uh, Rockhead being the better ability in my mind, and those final evolution stats which I didn't show you with Geodude are actually pretty damn good uh, that defense is just so high a decent respectable health and that solid uh, 110 attack stat that means that this thing's going to hit really hard once fully evolved if you have access to trade it to be a golem here in Mount Ember, you're going to run into an evolved form of a Pokemon that, yet again, you could have already have had, which is Machoke. Uh, Machoke, I'm going to show you his final evolution stats because I think that's probably the most important if you have access to trade it, um, which you would probably only be picking up this Pokemon if you did have access to trade it. Although Machoke, in and of itself, is not that terrible. That Guts ability makes him even better. That attack stat is absolutely phenomenally huge, but that speed stat is going to hinder it in the single player of this game uh, but if you don't have a good fighting type and you really really want to fill up that roster right now and you didn't pick up Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee uh, earlier or a Primeape or a Machop then uh, go ahead and pick up a Machoke right now if you need a bulky physical attacker. The other Pokemon that you can find right now is Magmar if you're playing Leaf Green. This Pokemon does not show up in Fire Red, which is super unfortunate because this is actually one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Uh, Magmar does have a pre-evolution stage that was introduced in Generation 2, which technically you could get in this game, but not until the post-game stuff. Its ability Flame Body, when a Pokemon makes contact with Magmar, it has a 30% chance of being burned, is very, very good if it is hit with a physical attacker. If you can somehow switch this into a fighting type Pokemon, for instance, uh, and you can survive its attack and get a burn off if you're lucky, uh, that Pokemon will be just, just useless from now on, and Magmar will be better. Those stats are actually pretty decent as well. Nothing absolutely huge. His defense, his physical defense is a little bit low, but that special attack is pretty big, and that speed is pretty darn good too. With the right uh, EV investments, you can actually make Magmar into a pretty powerful Pokemon. All right, so now, uh, now let's just say that Raichu kind of becomes useless in this area, and I'm going to switch to uh, Bruce. I think Bruce is going to be our best bet here. Um, I would like to use Luna, but I don't think that... I think there's a lot of fighting types around here, so Luna's not going to be the best. Right up here, over here, we'll try digging here. That treasure the admins... The admins have been talking about should be here. That was weird. What the? You're in the way. Get lost. So these guys are still there right now. In the post game, though, that will be different. So we can go ahead and talk to this guy. Can you imagine? If this volcano were to erupt, the explosion would be the end of us. How terrifying is that? While we're terrified, would you like me to teach explosion? Yes! Uh, you're terribly brave. So, none of our Pokemon can actually learn Explosion, nor do you really want it. It's a virtually self-destruct, um, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Um, I personally don't use Explosion, but I know many other people might really need it, or might think it's cool. So, this is why I said that you need Strength, because uh, Mount Ember is kind of a Strength puzzle, except not really. Alright, you. this is going to be Ranger Beth. Pokemon Ranger Beth. I think this might be the first Pokemon Ranger that we've actually seen. Now... Uh, Bellsprout is a grass poison type, so not best to send a fighting type out there. Um, I actually didn't even, didn't even consider that this person would have that. So we'll just go ahead and, and use Flamethrower. And a Gloom, which we will be able to take down no problem. Get over a thousand experience and another thousand experience. Easy peasy. Over a thousand, uh, Poke Dollars as well, which is great. And I'm trying to see if we can get through. There is an item up here. If I'm not mistaken, it is right on this rock. Am I wrong? Oh, it's right up there. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. My memory's coming back to me. Coming. It's all coming back to me. All right. <laughs> Break this. 
The only reason I did that is so that we can go up here. Uh, I thought there was an item up there. Maybe I'm wrong. So we'll go ahead and fight her real quick. She is another fighting trainer, so we brought in our own. Um, just to see how much damage we can actually do here. So we used Rolling Kick twice. We were able to kill it. 41! Uh, we're not going to use Endure. Endure is going to make it so that uh, a Pokemon cannot kill you in that turn. And we'll just go ahead. Oh, he hit us with Mega Punch. Ow. And there we go. We were able to kill that Hitmonchan. Hitmonlee against Hitmonchan. Of course, Hitmon. Oh, wow, that was a really far, that was a really far trainer. An active volcano. So this is another Pokemon Ranger. We're going to use Rolling Kick, even though this is a, um, a grass type. And he's probably going to destroy a grass psychic type, so he was able to destroy us. Uh, I should have switched out, to be honest with you, but we're not going to switch. We're going to use Flamethrower on Executor. I think that was the first time we fought an Exec... Nope, nope, it wasn't. Bahamut grew to level 43. It might have been. I don't think... Does it... Does Friesen have an Executor yet? I don't remember. We'll get 1440 Poké Dollars for winning. And right here uh, is an Ultra Ball, which we need as many as we can get. Um, absolutely. So right here is a cave entrance. If I'm not mistaken, uh, we don't want to go in there just yet. We want to go finish exploring up here. Oh my god. It's just a Spiro, so not, not totally... Oh, okay, there is an item up here. And we will get a Dire Hit. Dire hit will make it so that your accuracy is increased, if I'm not mistaken. So, right, you can also catch a Fero in this area, and honestly, I can't remember if uh, that killed it, so never mind. I was going to see if maybe we don't have that in our Pokedex. I can't actually remember. Um, so we can't go any further, which is, which is actually fine. Uh, so right down here where that cave entrance was, uh, that is where we need to go. So right in through here and we will enter into the inside of Mount Ember. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And we will just continue on. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can cut out the random encounters in here just because I don't really think that they're worth showing. And just continue on, screw all of those. I'll keep using that just in case. Now you could rock smash all of these and I don't think there's any items in there. Uh, I'm leaving that in obviously because I was talking, but I don't think there's anything in the actual, um, in the rocks themselves that you can smash. As far as I know. And I'm just obviously just keeping that item finder every so often, every screen, just to make sure. Um, I pretty much remember where most of the items are, but some of the hidden stuff is a little harder. Okay, and right outside, we will be back outside, even though we're, it kind of, the game thinks we're still in a cave right now, which is really strange. It's it's weird. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a strength puzzle right here. We're going to be able to use Luna uh, to move this. Then we'll go up here. Get rid of that. This is a this is a pretty easy a pretty easy puzzle if I don't say so myself. We'll come around, hit this. Uh, you need to make sure that you get you move that or else you will get stuck. Uh, I'm going to see if there's any, because sometimes there are. And right here, we'll just go ahead and hit that over, uh, forward, or to the side, I should say. And we'll get a Firestone, which is good, because we couldn't just buy those ages ago. Um, you need to wait to get to Mount Ember to get a Firestone. Okay, and uh, there's another item that we can get right down here. And, uh, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. There is an item right here, which is another Firestone. Lucky us, I guess. We're, we're rocking and we're rolling. Right there, we'll get another Ultra Ball, which is just so good for what's about to happen. Um, those of you who have played Fire Red or Leaf Green probably know this. Those of you who have only played uh, Yellow or any of the first-gen games does not know this. But right up here is another Strength Puzzle. I'm going to go ahead and use this. I don't think there's any items on this floor. But this is a pretty easy Strength Puzzle. Um, I don't think you're going to fail it. I say as I fail it. So we'll move that, move that, move that. What is, what is that? What, what is that right there? What, what are you? Here it is everyone, the legendary Firebird itself, Moltres. Now you've probably seen Moltres in the movie, uh, maybe if you've watched the movie, but if you haven't, Moltres is a pretty cool Pokemon. However, it is quad weakness to rock, which makes it eh. 
one of the weaker, I think, of the three legendary birds that are available in this game. It does have the ability pressure, as they all do, which is not really a big deal, but it can be useful in certain situations. The encounter rate, there's just one, man, there's just one. Let's look at those as stats, though, because that's what's important here. With a 100 attack stat, that makes it pretty decent to be able to use flying type moves in this game, because obviously those are physical, and a 125 special attack means that it's still going to be doing a lot of damage with those fire attacks as well, and that speed of 90. Now, of course, uh, if you don't have a fire or a flying type on your team, then obviously uh, use Moltres if you want to use legendaries. I personally don't use legendaries on any of my playthroughs, just because I'm weird like that. I know how strong they are, and... I don't know, I'm just a weirdo. Uh, but, if you don't, I highly recommend it. The Flame Pokemon Moltres. Let's see if we can catch it. That's right everyone, it is Moltres, the fire legendary bird of old. And by old, I mean like really the second Pokemon movie, uh, if you will. <laughs> so, let's just get right into it. I put Raichu in front, make sure you save your game before you do this. I put Raichu in front, and also one of the reasons why I leveled up Raichu as high as I did. The legendary bird, level 50 is what it appears as. Good luck, everybody. Do not use your Master Ball for this fight. You don't need it. We're going to, right off the bat, go ahead and use a Thunder Wave on it. Get that Paralyze. Get that status on there. Make it a little bit easier to catch. Uh, it's going to use Agility and raise its speed, which is not a problem. Uh, keep using that. We're going to hit it with Thunderbolt. And now we got it into the red. One Thunderbolt got it into the red. I was a little afraid that Thunderbolt was going to kill it. Let's see if we can catch it in a Master Ball with one throw. Can we catch a legendary bird in one throw? One, two, no! I thought we could do it in one. I thought we could do it in one. All right, everybody, let's go ahead, use Ultra Ball yet again. Come on, baby, come on. Nope, didn't work. Watch us not kill this damn, or watch us, watch us like not be able to catch it. All right, I'm gonna use a Great Ball because sometimes, sometimes randomly, uh, the the worst ball has the better luck. It does not have the better luck. And we got it! Moltres was caught! That was our third Ultra Ball. Uh, I accidentally sped it up because I was like, oh, this is gonna take a little while. So we used all of our Great Balls and then, and then, well, boom! Moltres' data was added to the Pokedex. One of the legendary bird Pokemon, those seeing it are overwhelmed by its orange wings that seem to be on fire. Give a nickname to the captured Moltres. Yes, indeed. So, all of the legendaries that we will be catching in this game are going to be named after patrons over on patreon.com slash missiledineonline. So if you want to be a part of that, you can head on over to that site and check out all of the perks that everybody gets. Uh, in this particular case, uh, we are going to name Moltres. There are only two, there are only two patrons that could be this, and I feel like this one better represents Julian. Uh, Julian Dietrich, thank you very much for your support on the channel, and congratulations, you get to be a Moltres. Moltres. Uh, which is awesome. Which is super cool. Alright! Welcome, Julian, to the to the PC, uh, because I don't use legendaries in my party. But at least, at least you are uh, a legendary in this game. Uh, also, even though we're kind of in a cave right now, because like the cave music's playing, feel free to just fly. Oh, you can't fly out. That's weird. I could have sworn you could have flew out. But you, you can use an escape rope then, because technically, I guess we're in a cave. That's so strange. Alright everyone, so we flew out of Mount Ember after using the escape route and found ourselves here back on Knot Island at the Pokemon Center. In the next episode, we will continue onwards and explore everything that we can do on these islands and get back to the mainland of Kanto. Thank you all very much for watching. It was so cool to be able to get a legendary bird in this episode, one of three. So we're going to be doing a bunch of side quests now before we go and get our eighth badge. Thank you all very much for watching and remember everyone, never give up. Never surrender.